Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for being here and joining us. Um, so today I'm going to do a video about um, reviewing these inexpensive makeup brushes that I got off of Amazon. So I um, am getting into like freelance makeup. I have done it in the past, but like not seriously. So now I'm trying to like really build a good kit and like just really seriously get into it. So I thought might as well see what Amazon has to offer. So I did some research and these were the most like highly rated ones and um I did open them to look at them but I haven't tested them out so I'm gonna kind of go through them with you and then um I'll test them out with a makeup look probably so what I got was this um this pack of brushes right here and it's by the brand Bestope and it comes with I think it says 20 pieces of makeup brushes so they're really nice they do kind of have like a smell but they're pretty nice and soft. The um, the like wand or the stick guy is like really nice and sturdy, so it doesn't feel wobbly. You know, like when your the tip of the brush feels wobbly. So they do have a little bit of a smell. Kind of smells like paint almost. I guess that's just what it reminds me of, like spray paint or something. Um, and these I got for. Let me see here. I wrote it. $13.99 and then there was like an 8% off Amazon like coupon that you could get with it. So that's not bad. 20 pieces for you know 13 bucks. Um, but this is by the brand Qvange. I can't really say it that well. I think it's um Spanish or not Spanish. <laughs> Spanish. I think it's um like Asian of some sort. And um these were $7.99 these brushes and it comes with 12 pieces. So these are all just eye brushes, whereas this one comes with like face brushes and stuff too. And then I got this cute little thing too. I love this. It's a little like um, palette in the spatula and it looks like a little heart. It's so cute. It was only $4.99, so I'm really happy with that one. And I'll put some links below in the description box if anybody's interested in purchasing any of this stuff after we review it, of course. So, um, let's get into this. I, I played with the other ones a little bit more than these ones, so let's get into this box here. And both of them came with, I think, a description of each of the brushes. Oh no, this one just came with a thank you for purchasing from us. Whereas the other package came with what each brush does. So this right here, it just looks like a, a pretty standard blending brush. It's not too fluffy or anything. Like like the other ones, the wands feel really good. This one is, it looks almost exactly the same as the other. If if anything, it just has like a wider, like it fluffs out more at the tip where this kind of tapers in. Blending eye brushes. This one looks all right, this one looks pretty good, like if you want to pack on shadow, maybe, or even, you could probably use this as a small concealer brush. They're really pretty brushes, like they feel good. These, this brand, the uh, Q of Ange ones, don't have a smell like the other ones do, so I do like that. And they do have a good, like it kind of reminds me of my Morphe brushes. This is a cute little brush. I have one like this from Morphe too. It's, I think it's supposed to be for eyeliner, but I don't. I don't like the way it looks. I thought I would love it when I tried my Morphe one, but it's just really weird to use. Here they all are. They really look a lot like Morphe brushes. Like, none of my Morphe brushes are clean right now. This is this is a Morphe brush right here. Doesn't it look almost exactly the same? Even They're even rose gold because I bought the rose gold collection from Morphe. Look at that. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty into that. For $7.99, getting all 12 of these brushes, and I really am excited to try these out. They feel really good. They don't feel bad quality, so I'm excited about these. All right, this other brand that smells like paint, I'm not used to using brushes for face. Um, I always use, um, so soft though. 
I always use beauty blenders for face. I, I know some people like really just love, love, love brushes for their face. So let's get through these brushes. There's 20 okay, of them. Okay, so these brushes I'm not quite as excited about because I'm not used to brushes that feel quite this soft. Like this doesn't feel very dense for a face brush. So we'll see. Um, it did come with a little thing that tells you what each brush does. So this one says it's a powder brush. So it's got a tapered edge. It's kind of nice. Like you could get really nice under your eyes with this. I might try baking with that. The next is, I believe this guy. And um, this is supposed to be a, it just says face flat brush. But it's not very dense. So next is this guy here. And it's like a rounded edge. They have two of these. So this one has more of like a rounded top and like this one has more of a flat top. So the rounded top says it's a foundation brush and then the flat top just says angle brush. I would assume it would be for your face. I don't know about this roundedness. It is quite, it's a, it's a little bit more dense than the other one though. So see how that just moves. Okay, next up is this brush, which I am just super confused about. In the picture, it looks like less of a, like, in the picture that they have up here of this one, it's not quite as dramatic of an edge as this is. So, and it just says all-purpose brush. So, I'm not sure what I would use this for. I don't know. Up is, there's so many brushes in here, it's like, I don't know if we'll ever get through all these. So these are all the eye brushes. Basically, you have just, I mean, there's a little, like a couple different ones from the last one. Instead of this being angled, it's just straight. There's a couple more of these tiny detail brushes like that. Um, this one is flat. This one is round. You know, they're just small detail brushes. It comes with um, like an eyebrow brush. I did my brows already, so. This one comes with this br brush, which I like a lot. It's flat. It's like a little flat edge like that. You know, another angled brush, lots more blending brushes, you know, just a lot of the same thing as the last one. But I don't know, like I said, when you have a lot of guests or a lot of clients or you're doing a wedding or something and you don't want to have to keep washing your brushes between each person, it's good to try to stock up. So that's why I was going through and trying to find more brushes that were inexpensive but good quality because I don't have like $500 to just stock up on Sigma brushes. You know what I mean? So I just absolutely love shopping on Amazon. So I just came across this idea and thought, you know what? I'm going to try it out. Um, they, these had lots of good reviews. A lot of people said they liked them. So... You know, just as someone trying to grow their makeup kit. Look at that. That's a good amount of brushes there. And have a lot of variety and just double up on stuff. So you have like, you don't have to wash your brushes every single person you're in between. Because that will really be detrimental to your time. So I am going to see how these work. And I used almost all the brushes that I got today. And I have to say... The one brand, um, the, um, this brand, the Be Stope brand, is not as good as the, um, the, uh, what is it, Cuvange brand? I don't know how to say it exactly, but this brand feels a lot like, like Morphe brushes, and it's, they're very easy to work with and apply with, and I would highly recommend buying these. I'm actually going to go probably buy a couple more sets of them just because I feel like they would be great to have in my kit just on hand to use all the time. They, and these ones are pretty good and um, I ended up liking the face brushes a lot more than I thought I was going to but at the end of the day like the blending brushes were not quite as good and I would prefer to buy these if you're just starting out with makeup and you need stuff in your kit. The other ones will work fine for you, but you might just have to work harder with them. So, I mean, it's it's really up to you. Um, also, you know, just recommend getting e.l.f. brushes too. Those are cheap. Just things like that, just to build up 
what you need. You don't need to spend a ton of money. I do like other brush brands like Smith and Morphe and ColourPop has good ones. They're not too expensive. I mean, the thing is, is like you see a brush and it's $7.99 and you think that's great, but it's $7.99 for one brush. So then if you're trying to build up a big collection of brushes, then you're going to have to spend, you know, a lot of money to really get a good collection of them. So if you are looking, I would definitely 100% recommend these Q of Ange ones and I will link them down below. These were only $7.99 for 12 brushes and they work very well. They're, they work just as good as my Morphe brushes. So I, I would definitely recommend them. This, um, you know, I would recommend them about 60%. I mean, they're not horrible. They're not great. And I just don't want to have to work harder, um, you know, blending or doing anything like that. So I don't know why you would either. But you do get more um, of these. They're $13.99 and then you get like an 8% off, I think, if you have Prime. And you get 20 brushes. But there's a bunch of brushes in here you probably won't even use. So I would definitely recommend these over the other Anyway, thank you guys for watching today. I had a great time and I absolutely love this makeup look and I hope you guys had a good time hanging out with me. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it and I hope everybody has a good 2020. Let's send out good vibes now. <laughs>